assalam alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh one more question that is question number 3 we are having in the same practice set practice set number 3.1 okay so in this question number 3 what is asked the question is uh, it is on page number 62 of your textbook page number 62 so see the third question which which is the last question of this practice set is find the first term and the common difference for each of the ap so what is asked here ap means arithmetic progressions are already given and they are they have already said that these sequences are the arithmetic progression and from this arithmetic progression we have to say which one is the first term and which one is the common difference so it is very easy see we are taking the first arithmetic progression 5 1 -3 and -7 so on dot 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 it is some number 1 5 1 minus 3 and minus 7 the question is find the first term and the common difference for each of the following ap so here the first term means which one is the first term this first number first number of this sequence is the first term of this arithmetic progression so the first number is 5 so obviously the first term that is t1 is equal to a why we are writing a because first term t1 it is also called as a so always you will write t1 is equal to a is equal to 5 over first question over then what is the second question find the common difference so to find the common difference any two consecutive term we have to consider not we don't have to find the common difference between here every two consecutive term because here it is said that this sequence says are the ap it is already said in the question so we don't have to find the common difference of every two consecutive term but we will find the common difference of any two consecutive term any two means either of first and second second or third our third and fourth so any two any two consecutive term common difference we have to find out because as these are the aps these all four sums are the aps then the common difference is constant for every two consecutive term understood so we are taking the common difference between the first term and the second term or you can take in between the third term and the second term or fourth term and the third term any two numbers but that number should be consecutive one after another okay so i am taking here the common difference between the first term and second term here second term is 1 no which is a t2 so d is equal to t2 t2 minus t1 t2 is 1 and the t1 is 5 so what is the common difference between 1 and 5 4 and which number we should give for the difference which is a, uh, sorry which sign we should give for this difference which is the sign of the bigger number here from this 1 and 5 bigger number is 5 and its sign is minus so we should give here minus sign for the difference so what is the first term of this first sequence first term is 5 and the common difference is minus 4 so easy now i am taking the last sum which is a sum number 4 in that sum number 4c we have the different numbers one is 1 upon 4 second is 3 upon 4 4 then third is 5 upon 4 and the fourth one is 7 upon 4 okay and comma so on dot 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 now first we will find the first term first term is t1 is equal to a is equal to the first number of this sequence is 1 upon 4 so here the first term is 1 upon 4 now we will find the common difference so d is equal to i am taking the difference between first term and the second term you can take the difference of any two consecutive term to find the common difference here we don't have to determine whether the sequence is an ap only we have to find the difference of this aps okay so when we have to determine whether the sequences are ap or not that time we have to find the difference of every two consecutive term understood so here only we have to find the common difference so common difference obviously it is constant because these are the aps these all the sums these all the sequences are the aps so the common difference is constant for all consecutive term so we will find the common difference between any two consecutive term either first second second third or third and fourth understood so i am taking the difference between first and second 
सो टी टू माइनस टी वन इज इक्वल टू वॉट इज टी टू इयर टी टू वैल्यू इज थ्री अपॉन फोर माइनस टी वन वैल्यू इज वन अपॉन फोर सो सब्सटीट्यूट इयर वन अपॉन फोर हियर वी आर हैविंग द कॉमन डिनोमिनेटर फोर सो वी हैव टू फाइंड ओनली द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द फर्स्ट नुमेरेटर एंड द सेकेंड नुमेरेटर सो वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन थ्री एंड वन थ्री एंड वन डिफरेंस इज टू एंड वाई वी आर टेकिंग द डिफरेंस बिकॉज इन बिटवीन माइनस साइन इज गिवन एंड इफ इन केस हियर प्लस साइन इज गिवन दैट दैट टाइम वी हैव टू टेक द सम ऑफ बोथ द नुमेरेटर हियर वी हैव टू टेक द डिफरेंस ऑफ बोथ द नुमेरेटर बिकॉज इन बिटवीन टू फ्रैक्शन हियर द माइनस साइन इज गिवन मीन्स इट इज थ्री माइनस वन सो वॉट इज थ्री माइनस वन टू अंडरस्टूड एंड द कॉमन डिनोमिनेटर वी हैव टू टेक ओनली वन कॉमन एज अ डिनोमिनेटर फ्रॉम दिस टू so from this two denominator we have to take only one number as a common denominator four you can reduce it or you can keep as it is no problem so two ones are two and two two is a four after reduction understood so here uh, the first term of this ap is 1 upon 4 and the common difference is 1 upon 2 i hope you all have understood well and if you have any problem any queries about any sum of this question number 3 of the practice set 3.1 you can ask me without any hesitation okay understood thank you